Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am here with not one, but two Illumi Crate unboxings. So today I'm going to be unboxing two Illumi Crate boxes. Now, first of all, I have the regular monthly Illumi Crate. This is the April box. Very excited about that, as always. And in addition to that, I also have this very exciting, very large glamour and gold box, which is the box for Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. And I'm very excited to open both of these. I've actually had these for over two weeks now. Now, I think something like that and I just haven't felt well enough to unbox them so can we just get into it because I'm so ready I've been waiting so long and at the end of the video I will also be explaining a giveaway that I'm doing so make sure you stick around for that what shall we do first mm, I think we'll do the monthly first. let's do the monthly first so we have the little card here which shows that the theme for April is squad goals so let's get into it la, la, la. Do, 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 do. what is this oh is this a little bag so the first thing that I've picked out is this bag and it says home is behind the world ahead. I think this is Lord of the Rings. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And it's a really, really nice quality bag. Again, with the Lumi Crate, they always do really nice tote bags because I think it's really easy to do like a cheap, like material tote bag and just put a design on it. But as always, they're always really sturdy and really good quality. I really like this. Like, I love this. I think this is actually one of my favorite um, tote bags that I've seen in like a book subscription box. So I hope I'm right and it's not something that I don't know, but it's, it's got to be Lord of the Rings. Good start with that. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's two little things in here. Now, I'm going to take this out. I think this is the necklace from last month's box because if you watched last month's video, you'll remember that there was something missing because of um, the pandemic and it's gonna, it was going to be in this month's box. So I think this is from last month. So let's open this. So I believe this is the necklace that was missing from last month's box. I cannot remember off the top of my head what it was from. I know it was from something that I haven't read. So this little symbol doesn't actually mean anything to me because it's not something that I've read, but I will look it up and put it in the description below um, at the end of the video. Okay, so we also have this. This is quite a heavy little item. Let's have a look. What is this? Oh, it looks... Okay, I see a phone plug. Is it a portable charger? Oh, this is actually really cute. <laughs> so this I believe is going to be a portable phone charger and this is of Aurora Rising I can recognize that from the front this is by um Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman and that obviously fits into squad girls because the whole thing around Aurora Rising is squad, squad 312 so that is very fitting for this month's box okay then we have this is this a pen there is also this pen in the box which says best laid plans. I can't say I know what that is actually from. Okay, so these are absolutely beautiful. I think they're by Merwild because I'm sure Merwild did the um, Nevernight ones as well. And I think as well as like Dark Shade of Magic and things like that. They are really cool. I don't know what they're from though. I feel like I'm being really... Should I know? I'm thinking these might be from The Witchlands by Susan Dennard. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think, I think that's what they could be. So another thing that's in the box, which I think is really, really cute, is this magnetic noteboard. And it says, make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. And this is inspired by The Gilded Walls by Roshni Chokshi. I actually really like this. This is something that I will definitely use. I will put this on my fridge because quite often I need to write myself a note to remind myself of something. But then I always mislay the note or just feels like, just feels like it's a waste of paper or something like that. Whereas I can just put myself little reminders and also people can leave me nice notes if they visit so there's also this print in the box I have no idea what this is from I will say though that this paper quality doesn't feel as good maybe as like previous ones I've had from Illumi Crate the paper's quite thin um whereas normally they are kind of more like a almost like a card stock whereas this is quite thin paper um I don't know what this is from though maybe I should know I wonder if this might be inspired by the book actually that's in the box. I'm not sure, we'll find out. Then we've got the book plate, which I'm not really gonna look at because I don't know what the book is, so let's get the book out. Dun, 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 dun. I actually haven't been spoiled for this month's box, which is really, really good because normally, like I say, I open it within like 24 hours of getting it and I didn't do that this time, but luckily I have not been spoiled. Ooh, look at the spray pages. Ooh. Okay, this book looks really pretty. Cat Dunn, Dangerous Remedy, We Cheat Death As The Blade Falls. 1794, Paris, yeah, see, I think this, I think this is from this book. Paris seeds like a many-headed serpent in the reign of terror, deception, betrayal, heartbreak, and fear flourish. Outcast, Camille Laroche, a revolutionary's daughter, Ada, her runaway lover, Gil, a deserter, and Al, an aristocrat, are the battalion of the dead. 
They choose their family, their future, and they choose to fight to cheat the guillotine of its bloody harvest even as the blade falls. Their latest mission is a girl possessing dark, disturbing powers hunted by royalists and revolutionaries. Who is playing who in this treacherous game of science, magic, love and loss? Now this is kind of surprising because I did not know what this month's book is. I literally haven't heard anything about this book. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. It's literally like it's just popped out of nowhere for me, but I'm immediately intrigued. This just sounds really, really good. It sounds like it's right up my street and I think it's an absolutely stunning book. I love the cover. I love the spray pages. Love it. Okay, let's have a little look at our spoiler card for Squad Goals. Aurora Rising, Power Bank, yep, we knew that. Witchlands character bookmark set, yes. Gilded Walls, magnetic whiteboard, that's what I was trying to say. I kept being like, no bad thing, whiteboard. World Ahead tote bag, carry everything your fellowship needs in this gorgeous tote bag. Best laid plans pen, we all need a fancy planning pen in our lives. Yeah, but what's it from? Best laid, I don't know what it's from. So that was the April Squad goals box. I actually really like that box. I think that the book sounds really, really intriguing. I would say that my two favourite items from that box would definitely be the Lord of the Rings tote bag and also the whiteboard, which I will put in my kitchen and I think that's really nice. Um, so yeah, those are my favourite things. Now this is the point where this video would normally be over, but I'm going to be opening my second box now. So my next box I'm going to be unboxing is the Illumicrate Glamour and Gold box, which is the box inspired by Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. So the Illumicrate Editions boxes are different to the monthly boxes for several reasons. First of all, everything in this box is inspired by Chain of Gold, The Last Hours, everything in the Shadow Hunter world. So everything in this box will be inspired by that one book or that one book's series, whereas obviously the monthly boxes are all inspired by different books that are set around like a set theme. The editions boxes are more expensive than your monthly box but you get a lot more for your money so yes they are more expensive but you will get more items so it's all kind of relative it all works out the same. So we have the little spoiler card which obviously we'll be looking at later. Another thing that I did want to mention is that all of these boxes are done in collaboration with the author so this box has been created in collaboration with Cassandra Clare. I've just seen a T for one and I'm just really excited. <gasps> is this oh my god okay Okay, I think this is one of those teapots where you have like the teapot and the cup underneath, which is basically one of my favourite things. I already have a tea for one, but I don't care. Uh, try not to damage the box. Let's have a little look. Um, yes, it is, because I can see the top of the teapot. I'm not really looking at it until I've gotten the whole thing out because I want to see it in all its glory all at once. The cutest thing ever. It's very autumnal. It's very autumnal. It says, Tea is always an excuse for a clandestine agenda. Okay. I don't know what clandestine means. This is very cute. This is actually a really nice surprise because typically these sort of boxes always contain a mug. So I went into this box thinking it would contain a mug. So seeing it contains this like tea for one thing is very, very cute. And I think it's adorable, but I'm going to put it down before I drop it. Okay, so we're off to a good start. I really, really like that. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. Okay. Okay, so we also have this Shadow Hunter little blade, which I think is really cool. As you can see, it's got the angelic rune at the top and it says of the same steel and temper as Joyous and Durandel. This is very, very cute. Now, I will be honest, I would prefer if this was silver. I know it's glamour and gold and everything is like gold and autumnal colours and everything like that. So it makes sense that it's gold, but I would personally prefer if this was silver, but this is really cool. This would look really nice on like a bookshelf um, with all of your like Shadow Hunter themed things. What else have we got in here? Okay, I don't... what is this? Okay, so this is like a little picture thing. So you kind of have it like displayed like that. This to me looks like it's inspired by the Infernal Devices, which is the series that comes before the last hours, but the last hours features the characters from the Infernal Devices. So as you can see, you've got like Jem, Tessa and Will in the middle and yeah. I'm gonna be honest, this isn't something that I would actually like display. Um, I think if you had like a Shadow Hunters themed shelf that would look really good like on the shelf but I'm not really into like displaying things like that um but it's very cute so we also have some Shadow Hunter playing cards which I think is really cool I actually don't have any playing cards so I think that is a nice little thing and I can't wait to open them up and actually like look at the designs on them because I expect they're really nice designs now this looks like it's going to be one of the Illumicrate blankets now every time I get a 
editions box it has one of these blankets in and they are just so so soft and i love them but the pattern never goes with my spare room and i think the same thing is going to be the case with this one which is such a shame um but it just it just doesn't it doesn't match my aesthetic of this room but i can guarantee you this is going to be the softest blanket ever because these blankets are just out of this world i will take it out of the packaging so that i can show you yep so soft so 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 soft can you see it <laughs> i don't know what you can see or what you can't but yes this is very 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 soft it's got lots of oh i can see it's got lots of runes on it um, i expected there was probably going to be a blanket within this box which is lovely it's very nice and soft unfortunately it doesn't go with the aesthetic of this room but you know you can never have too many blankets that's a that, that's something that i stand by in the box we also have these two prints i assume this one is more focused on characters from the last hours which is why i don't recognize everyone this is more the infernal devices i believe because you can see tessa in the middle wearing her clockwork angel necklace i think this is really nice i like this um i think what's good about this is that you've got both so you could make kind of like a picture display and you could have both display because i feel like they're quite unique in terms of like their style so you'd kind of want two because i don't think you want to mix it up a lot with um like other kind of designs if that makes sense so now it's time for me to show you the book i didn't realize that my camera cut out when i was taking it out of the bag i'm not going to put it back in and pretend so here we go this is chain of gold the last hours by cassandra clare i am very very excited about this book i remember watching cassandra clare speak and i think it was maybe 2015 or something like that and she was talking about this book and i was so excited so it feels so strange to finally have it in my hands and i really really like this edition it's very simple but it's very pretty oh it says love cuts deeper than any blade on it as well and it's got the orange stained pages it's got this artwork inside as well which is really lovely then it's got cassandra claire's printed signature inside oh i'm excited to read this it has been a long time since I was back in the Shadowhunter world and I did read the Dark Artifices. I read the first two books and honestly it just didn't grab me that much but the prequel trilogy, The Infernal Devices, is still one of my most favourite trilogies of all time so I'm very very excited to revisit these characters again in this book. So that's it for the Glamour and Gold Editions box. As always, I feel like with these boxes, they're really good value. I mean, you get the blanket, the teapot, like before you, and the book before you even get started, like on the little things. And I think that already makes it really good value. My favorite thing is definitely the little teapot. I just love it. It's my favorite. It's not gonna go in my kitchen because it does not go with the colors in my kitchen because my kitchen is like pastel. So I'm gonna keep it on my bookshelf with like my Cassandra Clare books, but I will be using this. So along with this double unboxing, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving away one May Illumicrate box to someone who watches this video. So to be in with a chance to enter this giveaway, you have to do two things. The first thing is you have to be a subscriber to this channel and you have to leave a comment on this video. If you would like to be classed as an entry, please just leave a comment on this video letting me know that you would like to win this box. And that's all you have to do to enter. The full terms and conditions can be found in the description part of this video. This giveaway is going to be international, which we can thank Illumicrate for because they said that they would very kindly ship this box internationally for me, which is really great because now it can be open internationally so everyone can enter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.